Hi, my name is Vicki and I'm from Sheep Ranch, California. I had two abortions in the early 1970s. At that time, abortion was only legal in New York and California, and I lived in Massachusetts. It was a long time ago, but sometimes it seems like yesterday. Some things about them I will never forget. I was pregnant bo both times by the same man. He did not want to get married or have children. If my parents even found out that I was sexually active, let alone pregnant, they would die. These were enough reasons for me to choose abortion. My boyfriend went with me for the first one. The second one he did not know about. I remember the procedure itself and feeling very removed from my body when it was done. I remember nothing after the first one, but after the second one, I remember trying to console another woman who was crying after the procedure. I stayed at a hotel in New York City that night and I couldn't, I could not get warm. I called the front desk and I asked them to check, check the heater. There was nothing wrong with it. I was freezing, chills passing through my body like a knife. It was a sensation that was to return many times over the years. The next day on the bus going home, I felt a huge emptiness inside and I cried out to God to never let me do this ever again. I did get pregnant again by the same man. I kept wanting to put those babies back in my womb. This time I moved to California and my son was adopted here in San Francisco. For years I struggled to make something of my life. I married a man I met in a support group. We were both mourning the loss of a child, his by divorce, mine by adoption. I did not recognize my losses by abortion. I had another son and my stepson came to live with us. I was still not happy. I did not know what was wrong. I thought it was about the adoption. But a, an astute pregnancy center counselor told me it was probably more likely the abortions. I didn't want to go there. I worked and worked to be the perfect wife and mother and stepmother. I overachieved constantly at my work. I was still miserable and my children and my husband knew what people saw on the outside was not who I really was. I took the training to be a pregnancy center volunteer and was told that I would have to go through their post-abortion Bible study before I could counsel. I thank God that they made that rule and I believe that they made it when they saw me coming. I was the first one who volunteered after they made that rule and I thank God they made it. Finally, through this Bible study, I began to see how the abortions had affected me. I let myself feel the incredible grief I had for the babies who I had aborted. I saw how my relationships with my husband and with my children were marred because I could not let myself get close to them. I could only my punish myself for what I had done. So my husband and my children that had nothing to do with the abortion were affected and were in pain because of my abortions. I began to heal. The truth that Jesus had paid the price for me with his blood became, began to be real to me. I did the study a second time a few years later and accepted his complete forgiveness and restoration. I knew then, as I do now, that my babies are with Jesus in heaven, and I will see them there someday. And my mom is with them. And my mom is another person that was affected by my abortions. Eventually, I did share with my parents about my birth son and about my abortions. And when my mom was 94 years old and she was in a nursing home, she said to me that she had a dream and the two Irish ladies in the room next door to her in the nursing home were taking care of all the aborted babies. So I know it was still on her mind. We held hands and I said to her, Mom, you're going to be with them before me. Will you love them for me? And we cried together. I do not get that chilled sensation anymore, even standing up here in front of all these people. Even when I'm speaking of them, 
I thought for so long that I should never have been born, but now I know his purpose for me is to lead other women in healing Bible study. I have met and know so many win women and men like myself who have struggled for years and did not know why, and that is the reason I will be silent no more. <laughs>